everybody, how you doing? It's been a while since I made a video about Cosyntex and the injection, uh, so I figured I'd go ahead and make a video today on Cosyntex and how to inject it, what it looks like, all that good stuff, and talk about a few things. Okay, you want to go ahead and get your medication out of the refrigerator, set it on the counter, and let it get room temperature first. Okay, so if you haven't seen the packaging yet, this is it. Cosyntex comes like this. Uh, will come in a cooler refrigerated um, so you have to have somebody home or get home in a reasonable amount of time to put it in the refrigerator um, open it up this is what it looks like got a bunch of instructions I've never read in there and then you got two pens to inject yourself with right so pull these pens out and keep the bottom injection point like this facing down you don't want to turn it the other way because that'll get air inside of the uh, pen so keep it like this and twist the bottom off right here it has a little arrow right here just take that and twist it off that's going to expose your pen a little bit shaky here this morning but you get the idea that's what the pen looks like Bada bing, bada boom. Like I said, you always want to keep this side down. Um, it's okay if you lay it like this, but you don't want to go upside down with it. You want to keep it like that. And then we'll come over here to the couch. And I'll show you how to inject it. Okay, so. Let me lay it down. Alright, so. And your thigh, just pull your pant leg up or your shorts leg whatever then in your upper thigh like in the, the fatty area up here just take your pen like so and press it down and hold it for like 15 seconds and then let it up so after it clicks I mean like you'll inject it it'll you'll see it squirt all the stuff inside you and then after it squirts all the stuff and it clicks you want to count to like 15 to make sure it's injected everything completely all right, and you don't want to uh, have your leg be like tight like this where your muscles and stuff are up here. You kind of want to be relaxed where it's kind of like more fatty like this here. So just kind of sit back, relax, and then plug it like that. So it clicked, we'll count to like 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and I'm sure 5 other went off when I wasn't counting. And that's it, there you go, that's one injection. We'll grab the other pen here, and do the same thing, let's take that, twist the bottom off. Pant leg up, grab your pen here, and then into the fatty side of your leg here. Let's take the pen, let's take the pen and inject it. All right, load it up and you're good. All right guys, so I'm about maybe three weeks behind my injection date on this. And so normally I'm 100% clear of psoriasis when taking this uh, Cosyntex injection. But like I said, I'm about three weeks behind on my injection. So this is what happens after three weeks. That little tiny, tiny, tiny patch right there has started on my knee. But that'll go away now that I've injected again. And that'll probably take like a week or two to go away. And that's it. Like I don't have 
Normally I would have my knees covered, my shins covered. I don't have, you know, like I got a scar from where it used to be, but I don't have any plaque psoriasis on my legs anymore like I used to have. You can see a good looking knee. Normally this would be covered in psoriasis patches. Um, nothing there anymore. I've been doing Cosentex for about three years now through the Novartis Patient Assistance uh, Program. So luckily I've been able to get Cosentex for free because I am self-employed and cannot afford it. So if you are in the same boat, definitely go on to Novartis Patient Assistance online and check them out because they have helped me out. Normally I'd have patches all over my elbows. I've got no patches, even though I'm three weeks behind on my injection. Um, normally, right around my wrist, I'd have some, and my fingertips. I used to get it really bad on my fingertips, and I've got nothing on my fingertips anymore. Nothing on the nails. I used to have to go in monthly and get injections under the uh, plaque on my fingertips. All of my fingertips just behind the nails here would be really bad, and my wrist would be really bad, like in this area. But nothing. Uh, I used to get it really bad in my ears, inside, on the top. I don't get it there anymore. used to get it in my scalp really bad. Don't get it in my scalp anymore. That's clear. Um, I used to actually get it on my face, like throughout here, um, really bad. Um, so I don't get that anymore, thank God. In the corners of my eyes, I used to get it. Don't anymore. Um, and also in the ass crack, like, let's be honest here, that's the worst place to get an ass crack and in between there, you know? So, yeah, that used to happen too, and thanks to Cosentex, I don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, any side effects? I don't have any side effects that I've uh, noticed over the three years that I've been taking Cosentex, so nothing to really report about there. Um... Somebody asked me before if I ever injured myself injecting Cosentex. Yes, I have. Um, I just had my leg too tight, really, and I injected, like, into the muscle. Sorry, I got interrupted with a phone call there. I got to get to work. That's why I'm rushing through this uh, video, by the way. Um, so if you have any questions, definitely ask me, because if I haven't thought about something in this video, it's just because I'm in a rush. But I had to take my injection, uh, so I figured I would record it for you guys in case you needed to... Uh, you know, see it and know what was going on in case you were scared, didn't know what to do, didn't know what to expect. I figured I'd, you know, knock out a quick little injection video for you guys. So don't hesitate to ask any questions if you have any. Um, that's pretty much it. So see you guys on the next one. Bye now.